Hey my sweet pen friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Devin. Before we get too far into this video, I just wanted to give you a heads up that I'm hosting another giveaway. It'll be over on my newsletter, so if you haven't subscribed to that yet, I'll leave a link in the description box below. Again, check that out so you don't miss our thanks giveaway. In today's video, I wanted to share with you my planner and journals that I'll be using for 2021. It's kind of an exciting time because of the holiday season, obviously, but also this is where the stationary community is all abuzz about what planner system and what journals they're going to be using in the new year. Without a doubt, this year has been a doozy, and I think with the new year fast approaching, we're all just looking forward to a fresh start. If you watched some of my earlier videos, you can kind of see this fanatical part of me and I'm speaking personally about myself please do not take offense if your approach to planning and journaling is different than mine or was the same as mine and for what I'm about to say I feel like I have to put a disclaimer just because I'm again speaking about my personal experience and my opinion on my journey so far so with that said, in previous years, I've used many planners and many notebooks for journaling, all kind of at the same time. And I think as time has gone on, I've realized that there are things that I enjoy and there are things that I don't enjoy. And with those two bits of information, I've been able to refine and improve my system to what it is today. And I'm gonna continuously improve on it. I will learn so much in these upcoming months about what I enjoy and what still works for me and what I can do better. It probably won't come as a surprise to anyone that my planning system for 2021 will be the bullet journal system. Now I've talked about this notebook in particular before so if you want to hear more specifics I'll have a link in the cards and in the description box below. It's just a simple A5 size hardcover dot grid journal and it's perfect. It's perfect for me because it's a blank canvas for me to dump all of my thoughts on as well as encourages me to be a little bit more creative than I normally would. I've been bullet journaling for less than a year and it's just proven to be the right system for me at this point in my life. The bullet journal system for me has checked off three very essential parts to an effective planning system and that is being able to plan so I have like monthly calendars as well as weekly spreads and then I also like to do goal setting in here I like to reflect on how the month went and what I can do better going into the next month and as I said earlier I really enjoy that it helps me be more creative I think that this sort of scrapbook style of journaling is really starting to appeal to me and I'm starting to take more risks, I guess. I, I think I'm still being a little bit conservative in terms of like how I bullet journal, but it's something that I definitely wouldn't do if I was still in a traditional style planner. At least I don't think. I have had a previous history with what I like to call blank page syndrome and that's where with traditionally printed planners I would feel uneasy, really disheartened and discouraged if I didn't fill up one of those planner pages which really is just so silly but the bullet journal has definitely helped remedy that. I'm a little less than halfway through this notebook so my goal for the next year is to fill it all the way up. I don't really know if I will. I haven't taken a look or done the rough calculation on how many pages I use per month or anything like that but the goal would be to fill up this notebook and then move back into my Mikkel reuse notebook. I did start bullet journaling in this notebook back in April all the way through June, no, July, and then I switched over to this notebook. This is quite a chunky notebook, so I think once I move into here it will take me a while, but I kind of like that 
it's something that I can rely on for a good amount of time. I did talk about both of these notebooks in my favorite bullet journal supplies video. So if you haven't seen it, I'll have it linked in the cards and in the description box below. I feel like it's been a while since I've talked about my journaling routine but I do share a little bit of that over on my Instagram. So if you're not following me over there, there's a link in the description box below. It's the same username as my YouTube channel, but I've pretty much resorted to morning pages whenever I feel like it. It's not as regimented as before and that's what works for me right now. I loved that I did morning pages so religiously and so consistently for so long, but it's it's really unfortunate that it turns out this way but when I start to get a lot of projects or my time is being accounted for elsewhere I kind of have to sacrifice a little bit of my self-care and I consider journaling definitely to be a self-care practice I try to fit it in as much as possible. So if I'm not strength training in the morning, I'm journaling, I'm taking care of my mind. So with that said, I'm still working in this notebook. Actually, I'm not even sure if I've ever shared this notebook on my channel. This is a Design Works Inc. notebook. For a while, I was obsessed with this line and pretty much bought every notebook that I came across. I've since calmed down and now I'm just trying to, you know, use and enjoy what I have. I am 219 pages in, so this is what I have left to finish. It doesn't seem like a lot, but because my journaling routine is so intermittent, I, I don't know when I'll finish this. I'm assuming, I'm hoping, I'm aiming for this next year, I'll have finished this notebook, but we'll see. Cause I think I started this notebook back in 2019. So it will be more than a year that I've spent in this notebook. I should mention if you're unfamiliar with morning pages, it's basically writing three streams of consciousness first thing in the morning and you don't judge yourself on it. You don't worry about grammar. You don't worry about neatness, spelling, anything like that. You just basically let all of the thoughts pour onto the page. And that's a practice that is from the book, The Artist's Way by Julia Cameron. I personally haven't read that book. I know I need to get on it. It is on my to read list, but I've heard nothing but good things about it. So if you wanna check it out, I'll have it linked in the description box below. Pretty much filled this with morning pages, but just recently I started doing a thing that I'm gonna call pretty pages. <laughs> I've been yearning to do a scrapbook style of journaling. I, I don't know, it's just an itch that I need to scratch. And instead of starting an entirely new notebook, I've decided to go ahead and use this notebook for it. So this will be a hybrid of morning pages and pretty pages, whatever I feel like for that particular day. And we'll see how it goes. I like it though. I like being able to take some time to scrapbook a little bit before I journal. And not to mention the pages look really pretty when I flip open to them. So we'll see how that goes. Once I finish this notebook, I do want to revisit these two journals that I had started. The first one is one that I've had for ages. I think when I like graduated high school, going into college, that time frame, And this was the time, the peak of Exanga and Tumblr, so a lot of my journaling was done online, but I did do some handwritten entries in here. This was just like a dear diary type of journal, and then at some point I started transcribing some of my Tumblr posts into here. I don't know that I'll continue doing that, but... I, I do want to return to this notebook maybe once I'm 
done with this notebook. I'll do my morning pages and my pretty pages in here. It's just a regular lined notebook. The other journal that I have is my dream journal. I started this back in, let's see, back in 2018. The first entry was October 18th, 2018. For my dream journal, I would basically journal first thing in the morning or as close to it as possible so that I could remember my dreams and document them. I would also look up the meanings of certain prominent symbols that I <laughs> would see in my dreams and I would try to dissect what my dream meant or how I was feeling. So I made it pretty far. I went as far as 89 pages and I don't know if I number, did I number? I numbered the entire notebook, go me. There are 128 pages, so not that much left. I really enjoyed dream journaling for the time that I was doing it. I think that I just had a lot of different notebooks that I was trying to keep up with at the time. So I finally, you know, for my own sanity, decided that this would be put on the back burner. But it is something that I want to revisit in 2021, at least to finish out the notebook. And then I can reassess if I want to keep documenting my dreams. It's also something that Jim Quick talks about a lot. And if you're unfamiliar with him, definitely go look him up. But basically he's all about the brain and its power. And he says that dream journaling is a really great practice for memory recall. I'm overall just such a huge fan of his. So if he says it's good, then I'm definitely all for it. As you can see, my planner and journal lineup for 2021 is nothing elaborate. I think over the years I've learned to simplify and who's to say what this next year holds for me. Maybe I'll learn that I do want to keep more than what I have right now, but in this instance, in this moment, this is what works for me. I'd love to hear from you though. What is your planner and journal system for the new year? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it with a pen friend who you think might also enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe and to turn on those notifications. That way you don't miss any of our videos. I do my best to upload here every Wednesday at 8 a.m. PST. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. I hope you guys take care and stay safe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.